You guys already know your vertical column side stretch. We're going to stand right next to a vertical column. We're going to try to affect the outside line. So I'm going to take my hand over top and I'm going to stand on that same leg. I'm going to try to take tension off of this guy by just crossing it over. Once you get that there, thumb down, I'm going to slowly start pushing my hips away. Rotating gently to the side, rotating gently to the side. And we're just going to try to open up what's called your functional lateral line, everything from the elbow all the way down to the side of that knee. Now don't bear any weight on this and try to keep that foot flat. Now you can keep it on the ground, it just should be nice and loose. There you go, very good. Now, very important when they grab onto this, make sure that you wrap your fingers all the way over top. There we go. So that this line is locked in and we're going to pull all the way through there, push your hip over. Very good. Now a lot of these, the athletes at some point in time, they can partner up and they can go together. Um, you're going to get a significantly greater stretch of just, instead of just relying on yourself if you actually rely on your partner to do it. Um, oftentimes it's one of those things that athletes are so driven, it's so easy for us to do um, lifting more weights or running faster or, or doing a lot of the harder things, but nobody really ever wants to do the things that we suck at and flexibility <laughs> happens to be the biggest thing. So oftentimes we never really allow the athletes, um, if, if we really need to focus in on it, you have to allow that, that team camaraderie and that accountability for the athletes to do it with one another versus just by themselves. You want to come over here and do it. So now what we want to do, if you guys are going to partner up, if you guys are going to partner up,